my dear Scorpio, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between February 1st and February 15, 2018 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. So I have put the astrological information for the month of February in a video of its own uh, that you can check out if you want to in the Q&A playlist or at my webpage at www.queenofcupstarot.se. So... I used the modern spellcaster's tarot with Melanie Marquis and illustrated by Scott Murphy and I will start shuffling your cards. Uh, so when I open your deck here I see Judgment and King of Pentacles. Um, interesting. <laughs> okay, Judgment, it's um, seeing things from an above perspective. Um, it's talking about that sometimes we often, uh, we can't let other people we can't live our, live our lives through other people's mistakes. We need to do our own. It's kind of this. We need to have direct experience. If someone tells us this is a bad idea, we might still need to do it. So we know that it's a bad idea. And with the King of Pentacles, it might be an uh, earth sign in your life, Capricorn, uh, Taurus or Virgo. Uh, but it's showing it's something resurrecting with, with your body. It's something of the old that's... You're probably starting to remember things uh, maybe with uh, feelings and sens sensations in your body. You don't have to remember things with your mind. Uh, it can come to dreams and such. But um, here it seems um, you're starting to remember past lives through your body. It's what I'm seeing like from an above perspective. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have a queen of cups. And the King of Pentacles. So it seems it might be a lover's couple. Uh, maybe uh, your King of Pentacles have started to grown up. Started to become more uh, mature. Uh, judgment is also getting a better judgment. By doing uh, bad choices and getting better life experience. Uh, so uh, King of Pentacles can also be that you are maturing and taking better care of yourself. Maybe you are adulting, maybe you are becoming more grown up. Uh, maybe you are being better in self-love, um, pampering yourself with, with love. Uh, Queen of Cups is showing uh, emotional open heart and very good intuition. Uh, so it seems a little bit like uh, polarities, but I think that these can make uh, good couples. But the King of Pentacles can sometimes be a little bit too selfish and the Queen of Cups can be too outgiving. So... Um, might be some imbalance there someone gives and gives and the other one takes and takes okay uh, so uh, i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world so it seems like you can get tired of that if you're being drained and i call the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading uh, for my dear Scorpio viewers. So I want my dear Scorpio to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, so uh, what we saw with the last cards coming, uh, the Eight of Cups and the Emperor, I think uh, this is about... Uh, Either people are stating boundaries towards you or you are stating boundaries towards people. Uh, there needs to be more uh, balance, an equal give and take. Uh, so um, it seems to be uh, the most important um, message for the intro here. Okay, so I'll tune in to your reading for a few seconds. So Scorpio, first part of February 2018. So this is your future there. And this is your now. And this is the past. So <laughs> in the past we have King of Pentacles. It came in the same position for Libra. And um, yes, King of Pentacles. Yes, okay. So um, it might be that there's a certain stubbornness um, with you. Uh, that you haven't been able to overcome or it might be that certain people are very stubborn and stuck in their ways so it's very hard to get to them even though you show your 
uh, vulnerable heart so um, if you're together with a Scorpio and you have problems with them probably they are a little bit selfish during this time and um, they need to be snapped out of their uh, their bubble and for Scorpios um, usually the people that's watching are the people that's very uh, have a very uh, like high energy and you're working very hard, hard with your relationship and putting a lot of effort into it uh, so the king of pentacles would probably uh, show that there's another person in your life that's being a little bit um, like the miser with you they're not giving you their all uh, that is what I'm feeling intuitively. Um, Libra got this uh, in the same position as I said. And also their reading became to be about them having very hard time to show their vulnerability. And were maybe probably choosing to letting go of their relationships instead of fighting for them. Because they didn't want to give up their, um, their guns. Give up their... Uh, they didn't want to be hurt they didn't want to show vulnerability so uh, i'm thinking this is a little bit the same thing here a person having very hard time to show their vulnerability and that's the bottom key here and here's the temperance card so these two entities like the open-hearted person and the um, more egocentric person needs to learn from each other one needs to be less egocentric and more open-hearted and the other one needs to be less open-hearted and more egocentric <laughs> so you're kind of together with your shadow or your shadow is being mirrored in the outside world and by life experience you are going to be taught to take in your shadow and integrate it in your library this is number 14 one plus four is five five is the high priest is the library the knowledge of humanity and here is how you get this by being a scientist being out on the field during during doing field studies <laughs> uh, so okay uh, same old same old <laughs> some it's victims and some are perpetrators some take all the money and the glory in the world and left the other one outside poor but here we see cooperation so it's um here we can we see hope here okay uh, this is a possibility that uh, the ones so close of lovers of yours might start wanting to do the work in the relationship because of very strong attraction to you their own shadow or also you might start to take better care of yourself uh, the king of pentacles is about self-care self taking care of your own body taking care of your family your immediate uh, like surrounding and leaving the rest on the outside of the wall kind of uh, but here i see mm, this is this is very promising this is showing people are giving up their will uh, to the divine because they want to finish the race it's um Eight of Pentacles is like this eternity symbol, so it's going one lap and hitting um, the the root evil to whatever is repeating in your life, and uh, having a chance to deal with it, and then doing another lap and coming here, having another chance to deal with it, and so eventually you might get tired of it all, and okay, you say okay, please help me, please say what it is that I need to do. And cooperation seems to be the key uh, or taking in the other person's um, energy and becoming more like them. So you're even out the scores a little bit. Okay, uh, so here's the past and we have a nine of pentacles and it comes in the same position as it did for Virgo. Uh, so it seems like you have started to to love yourself um, very good. You, know, you have started to love yourself through and through. Okay, we can say it like that. Uh, you're more grounded, uh, you're less, less eager to take in what uh, other people's uh, criticism of you or uh, what they think are flawed with you. You want to be, you want to feel calm, you want to feel safe, you want to feel nurtured, you want to feel, um, you don't want to question yourself and your beliefs all the time. So you're creating like a, a beautiful little heaven for yourself here. A beautiful inner garden, a feng shui garden. I think um, uh, yoga, uh, mindfulness, meditation in that order would be very good for you. Yoga is a very good um, like doorway for mindfulness and meditation. So if you do that, you will increase this even more and, and make your body even more into a temple. Uh, being even more rock solid, being uh, even more able to love yourself. If you love yourself, you will be able to also love others and also others will be more attracted to you like the right people at least uh, here we have the queen of swords that uh, was also a little bit the issue for for virgo 
uh, Virgo didn't have a king of pentacles here. They had the king of swords and the queen of swords in the center. Uh, so it might be that you're dealing with an, a Capricorn person or Virgo or Taurus or, and this is Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. Uh, it doesn't have to be those signs, it, but it's a person acting with these kind of energy. And I think it's you or it might be someone uh, very uh, in your immediate surrounding, like someone very important to you that's doing this, being very cutting. It's like they have had enough. You have had enough. Um, either or. And, and they're starting to cut out things from their life that's uh, not giving. So if they have like, if this person with uh, the nine of pentacles have a king of pentacles in their lives uh, that's only thinking about themselves and building on their own riches uh, this person will become grumpy and nine is connected to a hermit queen of swords is a real hermit as well you can see this on her surrounding uh, so she will he will whatever it is will skip this any gender will skip uh, this king of pentacles and and wants to be alone because they are not giving so if they are not giving, they are not going to have my energy either. Uh, but this is a split and we don't want a split. So what I want for you to is to not be bitter and run away, but kind of you don't have to deal with, with this person if they are um, selfish. But what you need to do is to uh, start to take care of yourself wherever you are. Don't run. Uh, so you are actually taking in this person's mojo a little bit and and, and um uh, you're starting to create a more fertile uh, situation for you here. Um, might also be that you need to start to talk, you know, start to say what you see, what kind of injustices you see, and not just uh, going with it or keeping your mouth shut for the sake of peace and and um, not having conflicts because um, uh, Queen of Swords can sometimes be she just cuts and runs uh, because hell is other people. <laughs> but here she needs to learn to take the leaf off her mouth and start talking, start saying what's bothering her with the person uh, maybe overindulging. <laughs> so imagine uh, th this is a couple and, uh, and this person might be living on this person's salary. That can be one thing. Or uh, one person is, as we saw with the Queen of Cups, more giving with love and the other one is it's just taking it and storing it like this little squirrel inside of, of their castle. Uh, so you need to check your own environment to see uh, with the giving and taking. Are you giving enough? Are you receiving enough? Is there balance? And uh, usually irritation and aggression is a sign of not there's no balance. So, And we can see here with the Queen of Swords, she's probably a little bit uh, irritated. <laughs> okay. Uh, is what I'm feeling here. Irritated and ready to skip uh, to the part where she's all alone again because hell is other people and all that. Yes, <laughs> five of wands. Five of wands is conflict. It's connected to the five, uh, the high priest card, uh, also the 14 alchemist card. So you need to go through this, you know, battles with other people. Um, voice your concerns. Tell how you feel. Um, and... Um, uh, need to do so uh, and to voice your concerns and the other person needs to voice their concerns and you can have this battle and eventually probably hopefully you will come forward to something that's um, being able to walk into the six of wands instead win-win situation for both people um, but this this seems to have been a little bit of war here in the past you were obviously very tired uh, of someone um not giving or they were very tired of you not giving and here we have the sun so uh, through this conflict you are able to see something if you weren't irritated you would continue giving and giving and giving and the other person would continue taking and taking and taking and no one would ever notice that there was an imbalance between you um but here we notice with the sun there's there's no other way than to notice uh the sun is making everything very clear shining from above and uh, making you see that you are angry that there's a conflict that there's no balance and um, um so you have the information uh, it's very clear and probably the irritation and aggression might come from your soul uh, telling you that uh, there's an imbalance that needs to be fixed um okay and here we have a knight of cups so what you want probably is an apology you want the person to be able to see what they are doing 
um, I don't see so much love, but the sun and with the sun and knight of cups, it's there. It's just that people are very irritated on each other, but it's there. And you, you want them to see, you want them to value uh, your relationship and the situation that you have above um, what they can gain, okay? How much they can make you <laughs> work for them or um, whatever it is, it's going on, this imbalance that's between you. Uh, so you want them to see what they are doing and put the love to you higher or the person that you're dealing with wants you to put the love for them higher than what you can win from them, how you can manipulate them into doing things that's good for you. Uh, so and, and this is how you build heartfelt relationships that's built on loyalty and trust and love uh, it's true uh, actually doing things for each other and building each other up not tearing each other down and having this it looks like a siege a little bit and one is not um, wanting to be in this siege situation so might wants to go away but first uh, before you run, it seems like you want to just try to get apology out of this person. Oh, it might be that the person will see their own flaws and come an apology to you. But the nature of this, I'm not saying the King of Pentacles is always like this. I'm just saying that this is what I feel right now. That this King of Pentacles might have a very hard time uh, showing that you mean something more than what their own ego does. Okay. So, but... If we are, if you are really lucky, they will see themselves and they will come and say, "Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I didn't mean to use and abuse you. I didn't mean to make you irritated." <laughs> so, um, okay, it seems like this has been a little bit of conflict, bitter arguments, and maybe apologies in the past. Uh, and it might be uh, January might also go um, be a longer story going back into 2017. And here we have the now and we have the star card there. Star card is Aquarius. Uh, here you have the temperance card. Yes, uh, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius is also king of swords, which Virgo had there. Uh, so you might definitely be dealing with either Libra or a Virgo person. And um, with this card here, uh, I think you feel a lot of support. Uh, even if you are bitter and irritated on people, you feel that it's in your right and it's okay because you are led by a higher power and you have hope uh, that if you communicate how you feel and what you see, uh, the things are going to be able to be solved. It's like there's hope here. Uh, you have hope that something is going to uh, be fixed. Um, with a star card, it's usually also that there's... Uh, the hope is <laughs> is almost making you a little bit foolish because you have this soul contract and, and um, what's keeping you assigned to the soul contract is hope uh, because you're supposed to have hope so you can be able to solve it so you can be very resilient also in a very hard situation so you will do the work and you don't have to spend 10,000 lifetimes uh, in in um, pro uh, procrastinating it but actually doing it now so that's what hope is there for to make you jump through hoops uh, to do the things that you were supposed to do to learn the things that you were supposed to learn uh, so it's it's very beautiful here and um, I think forgiveness uh, maturity people maturing people um, starting to integrate their own shadow. Yes, and here you have the Six of Swords. And it comes underneath the Queen of Swords. Uh, so those of you that's involved uh, with an air sign, there can be do two different scenarios. Either they come to you offering their heart, a heartfelt apology maybe, uh, or uh, they, uh, they, wants to, uh, they want to move away from this situation of conflict. Uh, and it might be like an energy with you that either you will, uh, either you, you will, you will show what's in your heart, or you will get the apology you want, or you are going to move uh, on from this situation. But the six of swords is very good because uh, the six of swords is it's like the sun has been shining in on you, and and um, you can see the good and the bad uh, within you, and you accept everything, and you. Um, it's like when people are very 
and they are more afraid of their own emotions than what other people might might do to them. For example, um, this person that has been doing a lot for this other person is uh, feeling bitter. So they are more upset about feeling bitter than what the actual person do towards them. Because if they didn't feel bitter, they could they would avoid the conflict. But here with the Six of Swords, it's usually that you accept whatever is. Uh, you're finding within you and you're going with it because you trust it. Uh, you can see it's both like a divine creature here and the hermit. Uh, so it's two like enlightened people. One has the sun and one has a star above their head. Uh, so um, I think uh, I know that you need to trust your instincts. If you're bitter, uh, you need to communicate bitter. Okay, you need to uh, go this road because it's the truth. Uh, don't deny the truth for uh, having peace at home <laughs> okay because the peace will be it's flawed it's not what uh, you can it's like you're keeping um chess mate <laughs> instead of uh, doing the work you were supposed to do it's like a stale it's like nothing is happening uh, because you don't want it to happen you don't want to challenge uh, a person in your life or a situation um, because you feel this connection to it and you don't want to lose it. So you rather sacrifice yourself and, and uh, keep on feeling bitter than voicing your concerns. So you really need to start voicing your concerns. And as I've said before, it will be for Scorpio, but it might also be for Scorpio cross watchers that if you are with a Scorpio that's a little bit selfish, uh, you need to start telling them, okay. Uh, and here we see the three of cups. So this is what we want to achieve. And we want to achieve people being able to be there for each other in, in thick and thin, being able to be there in sickness and health, being able to be loyal towards your best friends, your lovers, your family, and them being loyal back to you. This is what love means. This is the Holy Trinity. Um, and uh, uh, finding the com a common thread in this argument um, if you love me, if you respect me, me, you don't continue stealing my energy, okay? You don't continue um, doing this thing that you know hurts me. Uh, that is, so that is loyalty, to be able to listen to another person and their point of view and understanding them. So this is what I see in this Three of Cups uh, situation, that you're able to understand another point, person's point of view and they are understanding your point of view and you are loyal you love each other that's the glue between you two uh, and the glue is not only this love it's also this soul contract which i see uh, that's giving you a lot of hope and, and you want to be together so it's a pulling magnetic force so even if you're angry and bitter you can work this out um, if you tell the truth like with the sun and there comes a heartfelt apology it seems like you are on a beautiful way of healing your beautiful way towards healing where people can really and even the person that needs to say i'm sorry they are probably doing those faulty things because they don't love themselves so it's a false way to getting uh, um, self-confidence like making other people do things for you or manipulate them but really it's a self-loading that makes you do like this or then make this other person do this towards you because you treat others um, like you treat yourself and so start to treat yourself better and you will start to treat others better and if you can help the person in your life to try to start to treat themselves better they will also start to treat you better but don't become this codependent uh, i don't see any <laughs> problem you won't be with the ace of swords there will be truth uh, and, and truth that will be felt. Um, it's a very uh, fiery kind of uh, truth here, trial by fire. Um, the sun, uh, ace of swords. So you need to do, um, you need to be very brave to be able to do this part of your journey, to be able to tell uh, that you are bitter, that you are angry, that you feel unjustly treated and that you require apology. Um, and if not, there's not going to be any relationship. That's so very clear here. Uh, you want to call out another person on their love. You want to see if they're loyal to you or not. And if they're not, you rather sacrifice them than the truth. Okay, so uh, Ace of Swords is blood, sweat and tears, victory at last. Uh, so it's a very, uh, it's a very 
healthy card but it's very logic <laughs> so it's um you rather sacrifice the relationship than yourself that's what i'm seeing and here you have the seven of pentacles so with the seven of pentacles it's um you need to have some patience with this person that you want to you want them to open their heart and show that they care uh, because it will take some time for a plant to grow you can show them and show them and show them and push them and push them uh, and, but eventually uh, you need to let the grass grow in its own accord and sometimes we need to to sacrifice a situation with a person because they didn't they didn't try hard enough or they didn't show you loyalty enough or they didn't they were not brave enough so you had to cut them loose and, and make them go on their own uh, so this might be what's happening because a person isn't they are not ready they are not mature enough to to give you a heartfelt sincere apology if they have done something wrong it's not about sacrificing yourself when you apologize to someone else you forgive yourself feel about that a little bit like when you apologize to someone else you forgive yourself when you're not ready to say i'm sorry you're not ready to forgive yourself and you're not ready to heal the situation and it will crumble on before your eyes uh, so what you need to do is to uh, forgive yourself so you can say that you're sorry and you can start to build on your relationships or this is the case for the person that refuses this i'm sorry <laughs> okay uh, temperance yes so uh, look at what the other person that you are in conflict with what they are bringing to the table and try to learn from them because they hold the key to what you need to learn and you hold the key to what they need to learn so take in your opposite energy uh, okay uh, so here we have the future uh, for you, Scorpio, and it's the Nine of Swords. So Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords with a star card in the middle. Um, we had something similar uh, with both Virgo and Libra. Uh, so it seems like many people are choosing to be alone or they need to choose to be alone because someone is not caving, someone is not putting the love between you know this tri trinity the holy trinity uh, the loyalty the connection before their own ego and as long as that's the case um, maybe you need to be the hermit uh, they need to be alone to feel the pain from not being with you anymore because you can't let them steal uh, pounds of your flesh on a daily basis and and you need to just endure because you can't uh, you can't lower yourself to continue being a codependent victim. Uh, so uh, it seems like there's a waiting game happening here uh, where people are being pressed to the, uh, the, the limits of their, uh, their behavior or their, their possibilities of behavior. It's like you're being pushed to the limit so you will transform into something else. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this person that has been codependent and pamper someone that was not really good to them is finally saying no and taking whatever pain comes with that. Okay, so I didn't want to be alone. I love this person, but I, I couldn't sell myself off anymore. So now I'm alone and I'm still in love with this person. So this is what you needed to pay for, uh, for in this situation. The other person... Um, is waking up from being pampered to not having a person pampering them that's probably rather hurting too it's painful too uh, but the root of it all is this card nine of swords it's um, connected with gemini and it's called cruelty either it's cruelty it's always cruelty towards yourself but it might also be cruelty towards others not all people that's cruel to themselves is taking it on out on others some is taking it out on themselves and um, these people that are taking it out on themselves uh, is usually becoming eventually great empaths mm? because they are gone to hell and back and, and they they can like walk a mile in whomever other person's shoes uh, they know how it feels okay so they have gone through the dark night of the soul uh, once or twice <laughs> okay uh, so it's making an empath to feel your feelings to feel the pain of things not going your way and this is also so maybe the empath in this case needs to sacrifice this and go to the hell again to make also uh, the person that's not so specifically empathic but also uh, rather selfish to feel this 
they need to feel it too because in other case they can't evolve and uh, there's no evolution without pain uh, spring isn't coming without like the nods of the trees is bursting out and it's growing pains so um yes i think there's a big sacrifice happening here uh, due to self-love uh, i love myself um and i'm not going to let you treat me like this or um, uh, it might also be that someone <laughs> is loving themselves in a very ego way not in this they don't really love themselves they despite themselves but they're not going to acknowledge it because they think they're going to die if they acknowledge it so they keep up this ego game uh, so it doesn't have to go well but this is what seems to go down here uh, and here we have a queen of wands coming underneath the queen of swords and the six of swords uh, so here uh, it's bravery it's bravery uh, it's self-love and it's bravery it's a little bit to the cold detached area but queen of wands is usually very warm and generous but she's equally warm and generous towards herself as she is towards other people so it seems like you have chosen yourself because it was the truthful thing to do um when another person didn't do the work or were too detached or too selfish or whatever they were or weren't able to come and say that they were sorry uh, so um this is not something you are going through for the first time uh, you wouldn't be this strong uh, if you wouldn't have already gone through this uh, a lot of times uh, so queen of wands is a person that have lived many 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 lifetimes on earth and get uh, have a lot of experience uh, so you probably know how to deal with this situation you just didn't want to play the game anymore you hoped that your surrounding would have been more evolved uh, with this trinity and knowing to put uh, you and the relationship first instead uh, of their ego and as you know now it's difference between ego and uh, it's different between ego and your soul. <laughs> your ego and uh, self-love was what I'm trying. I'm seeing the sun card here. It's your soul. Uh, so this is self-love. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's your soul. So it's this big difference. Your ego is something that keeps you alive, the body alive uh, during the time on earth. Uh, self-love is your soul. Uh, it's um, uh, the self-respect from knowing who you are. So the ego doesn't know squad. <laughs> it's just defending something against something that it doesn't know what it is. So it's running around chasing its own tail. Uh, so it's a big problem. But here we see it mm, might be that you have fire in your chart, Scorpio, or you're dealing with a fire person um, that seems to be able to lead the way here when it comes to connecting with the soul and uh, how to connect with others in a heartfelt way a loyal way and, and still see the truth and being able to uh, also tell people what they need to hear uh, like with the what we see here with the queen of swords telling the truth and this telling the truth okay and here we have the wheel of fortune so it seems here we go again um it's like you're being grinded <laughs> grinding into flour <laughs> so you can become bread in the oven that's going to be baking you into white lofty bread like making you into something a high state that you were not before uh, so grinding 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 we see it comes from the nine of pentacles six of swords wheel of fortune okay so this time it's self-healing the other time it might be that you have fought so hard for these relationships but now it's about fighting so hard to heal yourself to find yourself find out who you are um unifying with all your soul parts like the child the witch the warrior <laughs> becoming whole uh, so this is the next game it feels like it has been a never-ending stop of these challenges and it doesn't stop here so um it's going to be a repetition of something but it's something you have done before and I, as i said many of you will be so tired of the games uh, so tired you don't want to you just want to be with people that's loyal as you um, but um, you are probably you want to be like the light in a dark room so you're going to be with these loyal people teaching them loyalty it's as easy as that and how do you teach them loyalty by being a good example 
uh, also by being very steady in this self-love and always showing like forgiveness and showing the way through. Uh, so, okay, that's good. <laughs> and here we have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's very interesting. We're just missing you, but we have your soul here uh, and, and you are a little bit there. It's um, Knight of Cups is usually Pisces, but it might do. This is you. And we have the Queen of Swords there, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so it seems like we have um, like a really good group that can uh, take on this challenge. I think it's uh, the Holy Trinity, it's different parts of you. Uh, here's you and this is your different parts, it's the triangle. Uh, so uh, if you have all these pieces in place, uh, you are going to prevail. And uh, we see here, uh, Queen of Swords, you need to see things from an above perspective. Uh, or at least from your perspective, okay? Um, don't back down. Uh, Amazonas warrior here. And she's also like the Oracle of Delphi, a little bit connected to the high priest as well. So uh, she knows, you know, don't question yourself. Stop questioning yourself. And here you have the Queen of Wands. So that is being like equally loving and good towards you as you are towards others. Uh, so it's self-respect. So you have the truth here. You see the truth. You have self-respect. And here you have Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is self-love. Taking care and nourishing the body, the temple. So your soul can step in here. Uh, so it's a beautiful uh, square here showing your boundaries. Uh, showing what kind of person you have become through the hardship of this <laughs> stubborn people in your life. Um, okay, and if you are the stubborn person that has been like very stuck in your ego, what you need to do is to take in your feminine side. Uh, the feminine is nature, however, you cut it down, it grows up again, it grows up again, it grows up again, and it's very outgiving, it's giving of uh, itself. Um, so it's like this superpower, and you need to let it into your life because. With it, you don't need the ego anymore. You will become very resilient. You will become uh, your soul. Uh, so, um, and how the ego die is probably by doing something that's humiliating, like saying, I'm sorry, uh, very delayed, unfortunately, but uh, <laughs> it's um, maybe never too late to say that you're sorry. Uh, so, okay, next card is a page of swords and it comes from the five of wands, ace of swords, Page of Swords. So you're new to this, uh, to telling the truth, telling how it feels, telling also maybe saying you're sorry if this is new to you. Uh, so it's practice, 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 practice on these new superpowers of being this resilient, of being this bigger person, uh, of being so much with your self-love that you actually start to take your own instincts as truth and, and, and starting to communicate them. In the beginning, it might be a little bit difficult um, page of swords might either be like um, uh, burning down the world or uh, not being able to say anything at all so being all blocked uh, so it, you need to practice uh, you might need to first see the situation like if you have a argument with someone you just see it from a you just sit there and see it you watch and and you see like okay what's happening what's happening within me what do I want from this situation what do I need the other person to give me um, and also ask them what the same questions but from them you are not supposed to answer their question they need to figure it out on their own again not taking too much responsibility for another person they need to be able to voice their own concerns in, in any kind of argument they need to also be able to step up and tell you what they want and what they feel and if they're not able to might be that they rather sacrifice the relationship and you uh, than their ego again. Mm? So then we're back to square one. And I'm so sorry for you that's being stuck with these kind of people, but it's probably something that you have chosen. Okay, it's like a mission. Blood, sweat and tears, victory at last. You are supposed to be the light in a dark room. Uh, so it's very hard to bring out darkness into the eyes, face of the sun. Uh, but it's easy to bring in even a little like candlelight into a dark room will lit it up and, and make the darkness, the light prevail over darkness. So 
you're probably supposed to start being your truthful self and start voicing yourself in the world, uh, showing who you are. And by that, uh, creating ripple after ripple after ripple of change. So your life will totally transform from here on. It will be wonderful. And um, you are doing it not only for yourself, but also for the person that comes uh, at the side of you or after you, also for the generations to come. And uh, so you're doing it, you're, you're, you're like a hero here in this story, uh, learning uh, this with uh, arguing in a way that's fruitful for both entities. Both will learn something. Um, okay. Um, I will take an uh, oracle card for you. Uh, Wisdom of the oracle divination cards for Scorpio and your situation. I guess that's the one. No place like home. Uh, so um, it's this connection again. It's what's making you feel the hope. Uh, the connection is your soul contract. Uh, the most difficult person, you still have hope for them because they are here to learn from you. That's why you're not giving up. That's why you still have hope. So don't, don't mess with your head and think that, oh, it's because I'm codependent uh, that I want to have this peaceful home with this person. Um, it's because I'm a lover and I'm here to be a lover in a world that needs a lot of love. Mm? Uh, you are going to be a good example for other people. So no place like home, authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. So it's what's happening with all those queens and the, you know, talking the truths and respect and self-love and all those things. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create, a place that is known and you can call yours. This card si signals that your changing page, uh, ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning uh, to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride or nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit uh, <laughs> and your soul. Okay, so... Lovers, friends and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love and you can be secure in the knowledge that it's reciprocated. <laughs> reciprocated sorry, Relationships um, elicit uh, a sense of emotional safety, comfort and the best aspects of family familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together you add to the love of the world. So it's like don't abandon this trinity. If you have hope for someone, that's probably because it is hope for them. Uh, and um, um, give up for the selfish one. Give up the your guns for love. Okay. Don't see your lover as the enemy. Uh, try to Try to make them your friend. Try to work together with them. Okay. And Wild Quanjin Oracle to see for Scorpio where to go. Uh, yes, be led by the path before you. So this is also the the courtesy you are going to do to your ancestors, uh, the people going in your footsteps, as I told you. Um, I feel that you are the forebearer, but here they might be telling you that you are going in the shoes of others uh, that has once went before you also uh, to, to done this, to make this happen. Okay. You may wonder if you are on the right path. You may have a choice to make and are uncertain as to which decision will be the right one for you. I scatter petals to scent the wind and blessings to reveal the way. Uh, though at times you may fear that you are being led astray, trust in your unfolding life journey for the path before you is one that I have blessed. So I think this card came for 
either Virgo or Libra, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, yes, don't make things more complicated than they need to be. Don't rush in out of fear or panic to try and sort out an issue. Be patient and allow it to unfold. The universe knows that you are in need of what you are in need of, and the Divine Mother is guiding you daily towards fulfillment. Do what you can do and what you cannot do, surrender to the Divine Mother. So this is the Seven of Pentacles kind of thing where there needs to go some time and you need to uh, be like this warrior for a while and it's this never-ending story here. Uh, so you're still on this journey and there's no... And the home will be inside of you, not inside of this relationship, but the connection is still there. It's just that you maybe need to wait for someone to mature, to, to grasp, to grow a little bit on its own accord. Um, yes, is there... If there is a question about life path or choices to be made, uh, the guidance is to tune in and trust your own inner knowing and intuition to look for the signs that the universe is giving you. And now that uh, the more you trust, the easier it is for things to work out. Trust. We, we went through that as well. Okay, so my dear Scorpio, I hope this helped. And I wanted to take really good care and also welcome you back to my um later part of the month february reading that i will do in the beginning of february okay so take really good care and here's your reading and bye bye